evening viewers. You are welcome to Woman Without Limits. I keep telling you that I love to cook. So today you're seeing me right in my kitchen. And this is my granddaughter. Her name is Nia. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Say welcome, welcome to Woman Without Limits. But they can't even hear you. To Woman Without Limits. To Woman Without Limits. <laughs> now that's who you are. I always tell you, nobody can limit you but you yourself. So get out of your own way and be all that. A bag of chips and a dip on the side. Don't just be a dip on the side. Be all that. Are we together? I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. And so today I want to teach you a few things that I'm going to uh, be cooking here. I'm making lasagna. And then I'm making stuffed chicken. I like chicken as opposed to turkey. If you like turkey, you can stuff it and enjoy it. But I love uh, to, to stuff a chicken. So we're going to stuff it with some things and put it in the oven. And then my daughter Vanessa is going to be joining us and she's going to be baking. So here we go. We are going to be starting with uh, lasagna. So to make lasagna, we're just going to uh, fry some onion and then we're going to put some garlic and ginger so let's just walk step by step and i'm going to show you how i do it i really do enjoy cooking so nia you want your grandmother to fall is that what you want <laughs> so just put lots of uh, onion and then you let it cook and put some garlic and ginger and we pick it up from there right i'm gonna be doing some i'm gonna do all together at the same time so that we can do this very very well now a lot of people really wonder what christmas is there are so many ideas of christmas is this and christmas is that and christmas is that but i want you to know that christmas is about jesus he was born and we celebrate on the 25th. Now people argue with, is it 25th or is it uh, during Easter or is it during the... You know what? It doesn't really matter. We got a date, okay? And we work with the date, you know? So even you sometimes, you don't even remember the exact date you were born, but it's okay. You still celebrate a birthday. <laughs> so for me, as long as we are celebrating Christ, the date is fine. So 25th, is the date that we celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. So here we are. I said we're making lasagna. So I know now the onion is ready. Oh, look at that. It's so, it already looks sumptuous. This is garlic and ginger. So you mix it with garlic and ginger. It's gonna be nice. I'm, so I'm showing you something that you can really make as a family and enjoy and ensure that everybody tambours you. Ah! And then I normally put a cube. I like using different kinds of cubes, but mine, chicken cube is what I like the most. And so I put cube now, okay. Jesus, the son of God, who was born by Mary, ah, uh, is the, the, the Christ that came to save us, to set us free. And I want you to know that if you do not know him, make this Christmas about Jesus and get to know him and your life will never, ever, ever be the same again. I myself got born again when I was only 22 years old. So I was a young girl. And by the way, when I got uh, born again, I wasn't even married. And people started to ask me, how can you get born again before you get married? Where are you going to get a man from? And I said, ah, you mean there are no men in the house of God now? <laughs> Three years after I got born again, because I got born again in 1991. Three years later, honey, I was married to, the, uh, to a man in the house of God. Born again, spirit filled, demon chasing, dead raising. Uh -huh. So for anybody that says, ah, why do you want to get born again and you're not married yet? They are lying. Tell them, stop it. Our God has husbands also in the, in the kingdom. So don't allow anything to keep you back. Or I don't want to get born again because how am I going to stop, uh, you know, party? 
Can I tell you something? Hey, we didn't stop dancing, baby. We just changed partners. There is nothing like a party with Jesus. Come on 31st to JCC Parklands. You will get to the party of parties. We dance until we dance. Eh? Morning finds us like this. We are wondering, hey, how did morning come? Because of partying in Jesus' name. And so I want you to understand. By the way, can I tell you, do you know the devil has nothing? Nothing. Songs he stole, music he stole, everything he stole. Because the, the Bible says he's a, he's, a, he's, he's, a, he, he's a thief. But I want you to know, our God, oh, praise and worship belongs to Jesus. So the enemy just takes it, distorts it, and makes it look like, oh, let's go party. It's a life on the pits of hell. There is no joy, no enjoyment like in Christ. There is nowhere, nowhere you can enjoy life in this life than in Christ. And so this Christmas is about Jesus. Let's continue. <laughs> now this is ready. We now add tomato. And then now my purple cabbage is going on. I've only put a cube here and onion. I said, it, onion. For you. Eh? I said it for you. You said it for me? Oh, thank you, baby. Thank you. So you're not just being cute here, you're helping. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. So you see, Mommy, I'm making a lot because we are many, we are eating many of us. Eh? So, I'm going to add some fish masala. Can you put it in? Okay. Careful. That is fish masala. Okay, put this in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Careful. Oh, you knew I would need it? But your mommy is late. You know your mommy was supposed to be here so she could start baking so we can finish together. And she's late, this your mommy. Can you go tell her to stop being late? Go call her. Tell her she has to stop putting makeup all morning. So we are ready to put in the mincemeat. So we are a big family like I told you. So we are putting in a lot, see? Don't take Christmas to be a time to do wickedness. Don't, don't do that. And that's why you see, uh, like, over Christmas time, a, a lot of calamity happens. And why does it happen? Because the enemy always distorts. So he takes uh, the joy of Christmas to bring sadness to many families because they went out and over drunk. They went, that's when families are lost because somebody went out there and, and, and took on other you know, insurgents. If you can just take Christmas and make it about Jesus, because it's a family thing. It's a family thing. Like you're about to see this food, we are making it for family, to have fun, to enjoy to see what Jesus did and to just, you know, dance. Oh, by the way, we, 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 we go all the way, all the way, all the way. We have fun, we dance, we play games, we enjoy each other, we have presents for each other. And so we put presents under the tree and we really have a good time. And that is what we are trying to tell you today, that you know what, make it a family matter because Christmas is about a family affair remembering what Jesus did, and just having fun in his presence. So lasagna is going down. <laughs> Look at that. Are you seeing? Is somebody seeing? And then you know what I do with this? I'm going to take this near. You can help me now put this. You can take it and then turn it over there. Over there. You pour it in there. Yeah, yeah. Yay! That's a good girl. So you're not just being pretty over here, you're helping, eh? What is that? This is the stock. 
stock, stock here. Yeah. So remember, I always put stock, especially when I'm making meat, when I'm making uh, sauces, because uh, stock, stock is like the soup of chicken. You can, do you know even the stock for camel? Camel soup is amazing. By the way, camel soup is what makes your bones the strongest. Apparently, it has the strongest calcium. So if you want calcium in your bone, use camel. It's beautiful. And if, even if you drink camel soup, it's amazing. This is free of charge, by the way. Yeah, for you, for Christmas. <laughs> and it's lovely. Then look at my, my purple cabbage. Ooh! <laughs> It's actually done. See? So the only thing I put here is cube. That's all. And it's tasty. And then guess what? We also have packaged amazing, amazing packages. We are going to a home and we're going to take it there. We're going to feed like a thousand families. We're going to feed like a thousand families as Jubilee Christian Church. Bishop and I believe in celebrating with others. And we, we open our, our doors and, and we open our homes and we, we love uh, sharing. And so this uh, Christmas, by the way, is about sharing. Sharing the love of Christ, sharing family. The people that you haven't seen, by the way, when did you last see your mom and your dad? Okay, let me just pause here and tell you something. If you are having fun over Christmas and your parents don't even have food to eat, you're not on the blessed side. You are here enjoying Christmas and you've not seen your parents this year? No, 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 no. It can't work. You need to involve family. If you can engage as a family, play games together and do life together. You know, uh, can I tell you, we, we, I come from a very closely knit family. And uh, my dad went to be with the Lord about 10 years ago now. And we never missed Christmas together. We used to have fun together, go places together, play games together and do all that. But now he's gone. He's gone. He was my best friend. He was the best man that, that uh, he's the one who taught me what love is, what believing in myself means. He's the one who told me he loved me first. And, and he told me I, could, I was a go-getter, that there's nothing I could miss on in life. A great man. But you know what? He went to be with the Lord about 10 years ago. And maybe you have your father there and you're not even caring about him. Let me just tell you, when you have your parents around, care for them, love them. And as you bless them, the Lord will bless you. So over this Christmas, make it about family. Don't, don't, don't waste, don't waste this time that God has given you. I always thought my dad would be with us forever. You know why? Because he was a very strong man, very strong. He was so strong. He was a go-getter. He, he had really shown us how working hard pays. That was the kind of man he was. When my father got ill and died in days, it was like, dear God, like, what if my dad could go? And so I just want to let you know, you have your parents there, spend time with them, love on them. You never know what time they have on this earth. And so make this Christmas about family. So we're gonna stuff some chicken. Here it is. It's empty on the inside. <laughs> it's empty on the inside. I'm telling you all the lawyers, please. <laughs> all the lawyers, I know, I know you with chicken. You're thinking, whoa. This is the best thing that ever happened. You can come. You can come to Women Without Limits. <laughs> so, I'm going to take some butter. This is thyme. This is sage. And this is rosemary. And so, I'm going to blend them together. Okay, these are all blended together. So, this is the blended 
the rosemary, the thyme, and the sage. So we're going to pour it in here and stuff it. And when you're blending, you blend it with some milk. Tats, please give me the foil. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mama. So the, the wax top is already clean. Like, leave it there. Yeah. Is that good? Then we're going to cover it like this. You have, your hands are still dirty, so you can, you're going to wash them, right? Okay. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. So, ready for the oven. The oven is preheated. So the oven is preheated, and then I'm going to put this. So I'm going to show you how to now mix up the lasagna. So this is the mincemeat stew. You take it, and you put it in a pan like this and this is what goes in the oven okay and there so these these are the lasagna sheets we put them in we arrange them so after this we are not putting the lasagna sheets for now what are we putting near the cheese the cheese Okay, we are good to go. So here is the lasagna. We're just about to put it in the oven. Guys, it's going down. Merry Christmas. Woman without limits. I have done my lasagna. I have done my purple cabbage. I have done my stuffed chicken. And guess what? I'm now going to do some potato. We're going to fry some potato. I'm going to mix egg um, together with uh, flour. And I'm going to put some spice in there like uh, black pepper and I'm going to put some little oil in there. I'm going to mix it up and then I'm going to deep fry. It's Christmas. We, all, we, are, we, all not, we are not counting calories, eh? We are just enjoying Christmas. So let's go all out. So I want my potatoes. I have pre-boiled the potato because the potato takes a lot of time. Yeah, thank you, darling. So it's pre-boiled, eh? Yeah. And then, yeah, thank you, darling. Thank you so much. So this is, it's no uh, big deal. It's only flour and egg that I've mixed together. And I need my flour. Please pass me the flour. Remember, you have pre-boiled the potato because it can take forever. So I'm going to take them and I'm going to put them and roll them on this, okay? I'm going to roll them on this. I'm actually going to have my girls, Tia Tatiana, Come, you all, you, you all need to help me do this over here. All right, the girls have helped me to mix all this up. Then we're going to take some flour and we're going to pour some flour. Why do we do this? So it doesn't get stuck and it's yummy and tasty, beautiful. And remember, when you're pre-boiling, you already you put the um, salt and black pepper and all when you're pre-boiling, okay? Yeah. Hey, Robert. Hey, how Good, how are you? Oh, are you good. seeing all this? Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. Good to see you. Nice to see you and as well. your child has helped me. Oh, beautiful. She has Girl. been working on this all through. Oh, you know, she's really, and now she's disturbing her mother. It's okay. Yeah, so she's like her mommy. <laughs> yeah. Well. yeah, 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 completely. <laughs> Literally, all she's doing is eating the lollies. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe please tell me what are you doing there? Honey, I am continuing with our Christmas traditions and making Christmas sugar cookies. Your favorite. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the shapes I'm going to use is the circle and I have a Christmas tree. As for me, my potatoes are ready. So when you put the sugar cookies on the tray, 
be sure to leave some space because what happens is when they bake, they spread just a little bit more and rise just a touch as well. Why I enjoy making sugar cookies so much is that they are quick and easy to make and yummy. And, yummy. and they bake for between 10 to 12 minutes, but ovens are different, so I recommend checking. You want to make sure that only the edges are brown and the top is still a little bit white because they'll be soft. Honestly, if it gets a little bit browner than that, it's fine. They're just slightly harder. So in they go at a temperature of 160 degrees Celsius. Hopefully you should have preheated your oven, but anyone who bakes should already know that, right? As the cookies are getting ready, because I said I'm going to do a whole Christmas spread of fun desserts, I'm going to make cupcakes. This is the easiest, most adaptable recipe I have ever found, and I use it for uh, making all my cupcakes. Of course, if you're in a rush for time, the box cupcakes is also fine, but this is made from scratch. So it's one and a half cups of self-raising flour. Thank you, darling. This is three quarter cups of caster sugar. sugar. This is 125 ml of butter. of butter. 25 grams, sorry, 125 grams. Is it salted grams. butter? Oh. Unsalted butter. Okay. When I bake, I always use unsalted butter. Food for thought. Um, two eggs at room temperature. And it's normally with vanilla. Now, again, I really like playing around with flavor. So we got my there we go. Oh wow, marshmallow. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you why this is such an easy and fun recipe. One, you put everything in together and mix. So it's not one, then two, then three, then you mix it until it makes a nice thick batter. Two, you can add color, which is Nia's favorite thing to do. So Nia is going to go and pick a color for us that she thinks the cupcake should be. Okay. Go we'll pick. pick a color. Okay. And as Nia is doing that, I'm just going to put all my ingredients in here. So. Again, I have a KitchenAid. You don't need a KitchenAid. You can use a hand whisk. You can whisk it yourself. The point is just to get the batter straight. Okay, while you're mixing, yes, what does Christmas mean to you? Christmas, obviously, is the birth of Jesus. So it's, it's how we celebrate it as Christians. But Christmas for me as well, on top of uh, Jesus, is about mystery. Now, um, I have a six-year-old. You've met her. She's whimsical. She's mysterious. She loves all the the themes and the fun around Christmas, gymnastics. like gymnastics, baking, you know, making gingerbread houses, making cakes, always having and the house. We gonna We're going to make ours when we go on our trip. Okay. Yeah, right before Christmas. Um, I have this little elf on the shelf. You'll see it at some point that we hide around. It's about family. It's about laughter. It's about joy. Christmas for me is the most magical time of the year. It doesn't matter if you celebrate it in the heat, in the cold, it's, it's what you make of it. So um, being someone who loves Christmas and loves watching my daughter experience Christmas through her eyes, I go hard. And because baking is my thing, I go really hard on baking. Uh, the mixing takes about five minutes max. And you want it with this consistency. Wow. And because it's Christmas, upon discussing with my child further, we are going to actually do green and red. Um, I use... Christmas colors. Christmas colors. Yeah. Uh, remember Christmas is about Jesus and about family. Don't ever ignore family. Family is the greatest gift that God could ever give you. And by family, I'm talking about uh, the people you go with to church. I'm talking about parents. I'm talking about cousins, uh, children, husbands, wives. So the entire. So you can't say me, I don't have a family. Everybody has a family. Don't um, fill this to the top, obviously, because they rise. So I can help you put them in the oven? Yes. Me, she. 
Na mama. Jamani uko wapi na vitu zako siko tayari hapa? Wewe nilikuwa nakuna nazi nakwambia wewe. Oh, ulikuwa nakuna? Eh, alafu nkakamua tui. Eh. Leo nataka kuwapikia mahambri. Sasa hebu tuambie kukuna nazi unakuna aje? Nakuna natumia mbuzi. Eh. Lakini sasa mbuzi jira na shau. Eh. Kwa sababu leo wajua ni Christmas. Yeah. Kila mtu yataka kula vyakula vya Mombasa. Eh. Wansikia anaja huku kupika mahambri. Yeah. Ah, ha, ishakuwa tabu. Eh. Wacha tupike mahambri. Sasa unatengeza aje niambia hizi ni nini? Hii ni nazi. Eh, nazi. Eh, Umekuna. Nazi. Nimekuna mm -hmm. na hiyo mbuzi. Yeah. Nilivyokuna nikaikamua. Yeah. Kuna Una kifumbu. Kamuaje. Na kamua na kifumbu. Lakini pia kifumbu wa shachukufu. Sasa sina kifumbu. Sina kifumbu sina nazi. Eh. Lakini siku nyingine nita kuonyesha. Eh. Akisha rudisha jina. So, eh, eh. Akirudisha. Hasa nimekamua, eh. nikapata tui langu zito. Mm. Na mna hii. Inaituwa tui. Eh, hili laituwa tui. Sasa hili badela kutumia maji. Eh. Unajua mamu. Mm. Wacha ni kuambia tofauti ya mahambri na mandazi. Eh. Mahambri. Siri yake ni inazi. Hili tui. Ah. Sasa mandazi yeah. wanaika maji. Yeah. Sasa hili tu linafanya mahambri yawe matamu. Nimeweka hey. kuna unga hapa, mm. kuna sukari, mm. kuna iliki. Mm. Iliki ngoja ni ngoja cardamom. Cardamom ndio inaitwa iliki. Hey. Hii ni iliki. Ambayo ni mlijui mliona usiku. <laughs> Ambayo nimeibonda tayari. Eh, so eh, nikaeka hapa kwanza nimesahau wacha eh, nivae apron yango jo kule Mombasa ha, eh, hatuna hizi sisi oh, tuna hizi a a a sisi tuchukua kanga ushajifunga eh, hapo uko tayari au ufungi hizi ma apron ah, hizi ah, ah, eh kwetu kuna apron <laughs> ni kanga hivi eh, kwanza ni vile hapa kwa kumbe huna mkeka eh Ungeka kwa mkeka? Ungeka kwa mkeka nikatandaza miguu yangu vizuri haya nikakanda unga hasa hapa Lazima usimame hivi. Eh, tabidi umsaidie. <laughs> Haya, sasa wacha tu tuanze ma, maandalizi nishafanya. Eh. Uh -huh. Sasa tukimaliza, yeah. tachukua unga wangu. Yeah. Mimine kwa bakuli langu kubwa, moja kubwa. Umimine. Eh, ni mimine. Mm -hmm. Sasa sita umimina wote nitabakisha waku waku sukumia. Nikishamaliza kuweka unga wangu hivyo na naeka iliki yangu. Iliki. Eh, iliki. Eh, eh. Sasa iliki kule kwetu tupima na macho. Mm. Lakini sasa huku kwenu bara wacha tunipime na kijiko. <laughs> Nitaeka vijiko viwili vidogo vya chai. Yeah. Ama vitatu pia. Vitatu. Mm. Eh. Vitatu. Mm. Kisha maliza nitachukua mm. sukari yangu. Mm -hmm. Sasa hii sukari inategemea na vile wewe wapenda. Kutaka sukari nyingi, kutaka, kule kwetu nakuambia ni sukari. Sukari. Kama ni chai ukieka, yeah. ni chai weka sukari. Utamuwa chai ni sukari. Kisha maliza kuchanganya sukari yangu, hapa kuna hamira. Sasa ntachikua hamira yangu, mm. ni pime vijiko kimoja, mm -hmm. chapili, mm -hmm. even vijiko vidogo vya sukari, yeah. cha tatu. Uh -huh. Chane. Ya uto. Eh, lakini nimeona una mafuta ya uto. Sasa uto ni nini tena? Mafuta ya uto ni Asa, mimi nimekwambia sasa. Ni Kiswahili. <laughs> okay, mafuta ya uto. Eh, Aya. mafuta. Aya, mafuta ni ya uto. <laughs> mafuta ni ya uto. Yeah. Lakini sasa kwa vile huna mafuta ya uto, yeah. mimi nitatumia bata. Sasa niambie bata ya Kiswahili ni. Oh, bata. Eh. Hey, bata ni mafuta ya uto. <laughs> So una, Ay, una, sasa, una na tafadhali usimwage ilo tu ilote hapa. Pole, pole. Pole, pole. 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 Aya nieleze. Aya nisha eka viringo. Sasa Aya. nifanya hivyo. E, bas, Aya. tosha. Aya. Tosha. E, kisha oh. madiza, asa e, ndio, utachanganya. E. Utachanganya. Yani tutakula hizi saizi zi? Mm -hmm. Kabisa, sasa. 
Sasa ile gazeti uh -huh. atu, atuitaji unajua hii meza yetu yeah. ina baridi yeah. mahamri hataki baridi oh. mahamri upenda joto oh joto so tukishaeka ile gazeti letu so nyinyi mnatumia gazeti ya mtumii foil kwanza a a a a tukisha maliza mm. unakisha ni mviringo kabisa mm. then sasa unakata mahamri yanakatwa hivi eh. na tukisha kata tunakata tukitumkiza tu kwa mafuta si kama mandazi unakata alafu na stretch ndio eh. liwe kubwa ah uh -uh. uh -uh. Sasa <laughs> Okay, looks like the cookies are done. They've been in there for about 15 minutes. As we're preparing to decorate the cookies and the cupcakes, we'll first make the buttercream. The buttercream is a very, very simple recipe. It is about 225 grams of butter. For white buttercream, the longer it beats, the whiter it is. So before you add anything else, you beat your butter and you add a small sprinkle of salt. Get onto the good stuff, which is decorating the sugar cookies. Now, these sugar cookies, as is in the name, are sweet already, but what makes them fun and whimsical and Christmassy is the art and fondant that we get to put on them and they taste just that much better. I like to use fondant over royal icing which is very common because I find it less sweet. I know it's ironic because it's a sugar cookie but fondant is less sweet. So I have a red, a green and a white piece of fondant. Brush a little bit of water on the cookie. And then we have our Merry Christmas stamp. And press it on. I have some gold dust. I have some Christmas sprinkles that I get from a company called Sprinkled. You can buy them online. And just a lot of little shenanigans because baking is my passion. You don't need this, you just need a few things around the house that are edible. You can put marshmallows, chocolate, shaved chocolate, anything. Have fun. delicious Christmas cookie. Everything on this is edible for little kids. Some of these might be a bit hard, but they're lollies so they can just suck on them.
And let me just encourage somebody on this Christmas day and let you know that our God is so faithful. You could be in a predicament right now that you probably never saw coming, never thought you would be in, but I just want to let you know that God knows, he knew, and he is faithful. Please understand that he is holding you in his hands. The Bible says he has inscribed you on the very palm of his hand. And you know what he says? Your walls are continually, not once in a while, not sometimes, continually before him. You matter so much to God that in irrespective of where you are in life, this God that cares about you is right there with you. I've seen that whenever I've uh, faced a lot of challenges in my life, I've always known that God is close to me. He understands. The Bible says he is touched by the feelings of our infirmity. And so it doesn't matter where you are and what you're going through. He's there with you. He fills you. You could even be in hospital. You could be watching this from a hospital bed. I want you to know that this God is able to pick you up. And we have seen many. Just a few months ago, my husband was preaching on air. And when he was preaching, there was this lady who was really believing God for a child. And she was really trusting that that was going to be her year. And Bishop just said, somebody is waiting on God for fruit of the womb. And you know what? The lady wrote to us the other day. And she said, Bishop preached and said, uh, there's somebody watching me right now and she needs the fruit of the womb. And guess what? I'm in hospital right now to give birth. Like I'm, I'm ready with, uh, I'm giving birth to a daughter. And so I'm ready to give birth in hospital. And I just wanted to say thank you to Bishop for just allowing God to use him. Today, I want to let you know, no matter where you are, you could be sick in your body. You could be trusting God for fruit of the womb. You could be really uh, going through a marital uh, uh, situation. You could be in pain. You could be hurt. Maybe you're going through such a heartache and you don't even believe you can ever heal, I want to let you know, not only will you heal, but you'll become a healer. Everything you go through, it has a purpose. It fulfills a purpose. So right now you're in pain, but believe me, you're going to be getting people out of pain. Right now your marriage is not working. Believe me, hold on, hold on, hold on, pray. Because at the end of the day, you may be the marriage counselor that will bless many marriages and save many homes just because of your holding on and trusting in God. This message is for you to understand you may not have everything right now. You may not be able to uh, eat the food that you can see us cooking right now. But I want to let you know it's just a matter of time. If you can hold on to God and the word of God, the Bible says, he that began a good work in us, he is faithful to complete it. I want you to know that he is faithful. He's going to complete it for you. And you know what? You're going to be a testimony. You're going to give your story. Somebody's going to be delivered, set free because of you. And so on this Christmas 2022, on this 25th, it has happened because you're there and because you're listening. So I want you to know, that there's somebody that loves you beyond measure. His name is Jesus. And right now, if you want to give your life to Jesus, you can go ahead and call those numbers on your screen right now. Right now. And somebody's going to pray for you and let you know that Jesus is able to save you, to turn around your life, and to cause you to smile again. So from the depth of my heart, together with Bishop, myself, JCC, Woman Without Limits, all our children, we wish you a very Merry Christmas. Oh, holy night, the stars are... We thank you for bringing us together to just have fun, oh God, and remember the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. What a beautiful day. We, as we eat, we ask you to bless this food, oh God, for we receive it with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. And
And so, still in our aprons and, you know, cooking and all that. But this is so much fun. We want to let you know that Christmas is about sharing, about loving, about being together, about visiting and all that. So this behind me right here are the hands of compassion. The hands of compassion are from Jubilee Christian Church, you know, led by Sir Joel. Joel, how long have you been a leader of uh, Hands of Compassion? By the grace of God, I've been a leader for the last uh, 19 years. Hey, yeah, 19 years, you all. Yeah. yeah, so it has been an amazing journey as we minister the love and compassion of Jesus Christ to the need in the society. Uh, we have been blessed to just serve under your covering and a dad's covering. And we have see, seen amazing stories coming out of what we have been doing as we just been a blessing to the society by giving them stuff. And even this Christmas, uh, we are going to be a blessing too. Right. Like we always do. Amen. Yeah, we went to um, Kariowaine. Is it Kariowaine? Kariowa B. Kariowa. Kariowa. Yeah. Kariowa Kariowa yeah. B. Yeah. It's a very, very big slum. Yeah. And it's just right there in Gara. And we normally go and visit them. And you know what? Guess what? We even got some uh, uh, people there that we took to school. Yes. Yes, we Last are. year, yes. we got some people there that we took to school because uh, we believe in not just uh, uh, touching a life, but changing a life Amen. and impacting them, you know, for the better. And we always like to let them know that it's not where you begin. Mm -mm. Your latter end will greatly increase Amen. because with God, there is no impossibility. Amen. You could be in a slum right now, but I want you to know that God can get you out, raise you up, and cause you to become somebody in society. Amen. Yeah, I, I, did you listen to uh, Her Excellency, mm -hmm. uh, Pastor Dorcas mm -hmm. Gashagwa? Yeah. You know, did you listen yeah. to that testimony? Mm -hmm. Wasn't that Amaz awesome? Amazing. Coming from a slum. Sure. And now she's the number two in our country. Wow. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. Let wow. me tell you, there is nothing impossible Amen. with God. Amen. And we really thank God that God can use Jubilee Christian Church as a channel to be a blessing Amen. to society. So we are here to wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bishop, myself, and the entire congregation of Jubilee Christian Church wish you very, very, very well and a merry christmas and a prosperous new year amen <laughs>